Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Spiridonov and this time I will be doing a short video on the Monty Hall problem. For those of you who don't know, the Monty Hall problem is a game show type of problem where the contestant is provided with three options, one of which contains some really good prize and the other two options are losers. The game starts off by the contestant picking one option at which point he or she has one in three chance of picking the winning option. At this point, the game host will reveal one of the two remaining options as a loser and the contestant is allowed to swap to the last remaining available option or keep their current selection. The correct thing to do is to swap, which doubles the contestant's chance of winning. But I will not be discussing why it is so, and instead just link to a video explaining that in the description. In fact, if you don't know the statistics behind this, you should go and watch that video right now. From now on, I'm expecting that you already know the math. But perhaps, like I was, you might still be intrigued by the counterintuitive outcome and would like to see some proof. And as usual, my preferred option for obtaining proof is to set up an experiment or a numerical simulation. In this case, I will be using MATLAB to simulate the outcomes of a large number of games showing the result of swapping and not swapping. Alternatively, you can use Octave, which is free and can interpret most MATLAB code directly, so you could just copy-paste my code and replicate my numerical simulations. Now I'll briefly go over my code and what it does. At the top we have a flag which lets us choose whether we want to swap or not by setting it to true or false. We initialize the number of times we want the game to zero since we haven't played yet. And we set the number of games to be played to an arbitrarily large number to establish a good statistic. In this case, 100,000 games should be enough. After the set number of games has been played, the percentage of winning games is displayed. During each simulated game, a random number from 1 to 3 is used as the correct or winning option, and another random number from 1 to 3 is used as our initial pick. Now, if we do not swap, the revealing of the one of the losing options makes no difference. We simply go on to check whether our initial pick is correct, and if it is, our counter is incremented by one. Now I'm going to run the code without swapping and get about one-third or 33% correct as would be expected. Now if we do swap, we have an extra bit of code which simulates that. We start off with a set of three possibilities. Right away, we remove our initial pick from this set. The simulated game host then removes another option from the set by revealing it as a loser. We then swap to the remaining option in the set and check if it is a winner. So if we run the code again with the swap option on, we get approximately two-thirds or 66% as predicted by the probability theory. And, oops, that was supposed to be true. And, ta-da, 66.7%, almost two-thirds. So once again, this has been Alexander Spiridonov. Any feedback is always welcome, so if please feel free to comment and if you like this video please let me know and subscribe.